Oklahoma Governor Talks Tornado Preparedness Vertical Bracket Interviews Vertical Bracket Your World with Cavuto. Shows. America Live. Hannity. America News HQ. Happening Now. America's Newsroom. Look at me. Cavuto. Justice with Judge Jeanine. Fox Files. Red IW slash Cutfold. Fox News Sunday. Special Report. Fox and Friends First. Specials. Fox and Friends. Studio Me. Fox and Friends Weekend. The Cost of Freedom. Fox News Watch. The Five. Fox Report. The Journal Editorial Report. Geraldo at Large. The O'Reilly Factor. Greta. War Stories. Watch Now. All Times Eastern. Web Shows. Fox News Channel. Fox Business Network. Login. Welcome. Profile. Log out. Home. About Neil Cavuto. Interviews. Common Sense. Oklahoma Governor Talks Tornado Preparedness. Published May 20th, 2013 Vertical Bracket Your World Cavuto Vertical Bracket Neil Cavuto. With Governor. Mary Fallon. Aratla. Print. Email. Share. Recommend. Tweet. Watch the latest video at foxnews.com. This is a rush transcript from your world, May 20th, 2013. This copy may not be in its final form and may be updated. Neil Cavuto, host, Governor Mary Fallon, the governor of the fine state of Oklahoma. And here we go again, Governor. You had warned residents that this could and probably would happen. What is the latest you're hearing? Governor. Mary Fallon, Aratla, well, Neil, it is happening right now. In fact, the tornado sirens have gone off twice. I'm right in the center of Oklahoma City, at the state capitol, and we have had two sirens in the last 15 minutes. We have what could potentially be an F4 tornado that is on the ground just right outside of Oklahoma City. It's a massive storm. And, of course, you still have people down around the areas close to Oklahoma City that have been out searching through the debris currently for clothing and household items, those that lost their homes. And I went out to a couple cities already this morning, and just warned everybody, you have got to pay attention to the weather today, because within the time I drove up from to the capital and came in, within 30 minutes, the storm has popped up. And the clouds were clear right before I came into the capital. So these are fast acting, fast moving storms and we have got to really pay attention to the weather today. Cavuto, indeed, Governor. As if you don't get enough headaches here, we're getting word from the National Weather Service that a tornado warning has been issued for parts of Oklahoma City. Now, that would be about 45 minutes to due west of what we're looking at right now, Governor. Is that about right? Felon, yes. It, right outside of Oklahoma City, around the Moore area, and the Norman area, Newcastle area, which isn't too far. It's about 30 minutes at the, at the, well, maybe even less than that, maybe 20 miles from Oklahoma City. But the sirens have gone off several times here in the city, and we're seeing a big hook echo in the radar right now, and just telling people to pay attention and move to a shelter. We saw some homes earlier today that were taken totally to the ground. In fact, one of my staff members here in my office totally lost her home. She has lost everything, and several of my friends have lost their homes over the last couple hours. Cavuto, oh, my goodness. Governor, and if they can't get to a shelter, the general rule of thumb is you find an interior room and essentially just duck for cover. Right? Felon, absolutely. In fact, I visited with one gentleman today out in a rural part of Oklahoma, about an hour out of Oklahoma City, and his house got destroyed, but he had climbed into the shelter. But I guess his wife couldn't walk very well and he couldn't carry her, because he was an elderly man. And she hid out in a closet in the house and it did strike their house and he was down the shelter scared to death that she wasn't going to be there when he came up. But she was. She had a couple of bumps and bruises, but did survive.